a dress with the petticoat underneath it, you know, in Sunday shoes. So when you see me running, all you see was legs in the petticoat going down the, down the track. I was all over the place, you know. They didn't tell me I had to stay in my lane and didn't explain anything, just run. So that's what I did. I was all over the place. Willie White, she was a hurdler and a, she was a nurse. And she says, no. She said, this baby needs to go to the hospital. She needs to go now. And so she made them take me to the uh, commissary at the Olympic Village. And that's when they told me I had pneumonia. Everything I trained for, weight, muscle, everything was gone. So when I got out, I couldn't get the starts right. I was frustrated. Nobody wanted to help me, you know. And so all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Wendy shows up. Now, how she got in the Olympic Village, I don't know. <laughs> but she was my saving grace because she was there. I was crying. She said, okay, gather yourself together. We're going to get through this. So I said, okay. The one race that I wanted to win the most was the 100. But I just didn't have it. I got fifth, but that was devastating to me really devastating. So my only saving grace was, okay, when he said, okay, Margaret, don't harp on that. You're fifth fastest in the world, so don't even worry about that. You need to concentrate on the relay because you have three other people depending on you. I said, okay. And we did that. We got a world's record. 